Missions and Majette's basketball teams are undefeated through the first weekend of games. Both teams beat West Fargo and West Fargo Cheyenne. Tomorrow, the two teams play Grand Forks Red River. That's the team that both knocked both the Magicians and the Majettes out of the state tournament last year. The twist, both games are at home. With the new construction of the Auxiliary Gym, the sophomore and JV teams can play in the Ad Auxiliary Gym, while the varsity teams use the main gym. For the boys, Red River is unranked this year, but for the girls, it's number one Minot versus number two, the reigning state champion Rough Riders. We have a lot of good things going for us, and we're coming in as ranked one, so it puts a target on our back, but we know we can do it and get the job done. I think since Red River, like it was a, that matchup last year, and it's like the number ones on both sides, so it's going to be a good atmosphere for the girls. And then I think also the boys' game being after that, it'll bring in some more spectators to watch the girls' game beforehand. Girls tip off tomorrow at 6. We'll hear more from the boys on First News at, well, 6. The girls from the South Prairie Max basketball team had a solid first week of the season. They won their first three games of the year, including a win over number two ranked Wapaton before losing to number one ranked Thompson on Saturday at the Minot Auditorium. Well, that loss to the Tommies was their fourth game in five days, so exhaustion could have played a factor. The Royals were rewarded in today's polls, joining the rankings at number four. Tommy's solidified their spot in first by receiving all of the votes for the top spot. In the second edition of the Class B girls poll, Langdon and Bowman still one and two, but chaos outside of that. Mayport moves up from fifth, dropping Sargent County to fourth. Central McLean and Hatton Northwood both moved up two places each. We saw Hatton Northwood at the Minot Auditorium this weekend. Look pretty impressive. Ken Mayer dropped from fourth to ninth. Our Redeemers, TGU, Garrison, and Surrey all received votes. The boys' season starts at the end of this week, and the first polls have arrived. Devil's Lake is the top pick to win. They were in Class A last year and are now in the quote unquote new Class A. Turtle Mountain and Stanley both received some nods. Class B boys could be wide open, but Bowman County looks strong. Don't get me wrong, they got the most votes. Four teams shared the first place votes, including North Star, the co-op from Kandu, and Bishop Ryan. West Hope is tied with Linton at eighth. North Prairie and Kenmare both in the receiving votes category. If me reading off a list of schools doesn't get you fired up for basketball season, that's totally fine. I prefer the step back three pointers and slam dunk highlights too. We'll be right back. It's time to lace them up as the Minot Minotauros take to the ice for another great season of exciting hockey action. Don't miss Toros time, Thursdays at 6, during the sports on KMOT. The Toros aim for another successful NAHL season in the Central Division. Hear from players, coaches, fans, and more about all things Toros. Join sports director Zach Keenan for Toros time, Thursdays on KMOT, during the sports at 6.